Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see an in-depth review of Minimal OS ROM for Nexus 5. The Minimal OS ROM is based on the latest version of AOSP and it also includes the new layer commits. Now the Minimal OS ROM provides Android version 5.1.1 with all new stage fright fixes. I am on the latest version of Minimal OS that is version 2.5 and the build number is LMY48i. Now let's move ahead and check out the installation process of this ROM. For installation, you have to go to this XDA thread. I will post the link for this thread in my description. Here you can find the ROM file and for the G apps, you can use any G apps file that is compatible with Android 5.1.1 or you can also find the minimal G apps in the minimal OS Google Plus community. The link for the Google Plus community is mentioned in the thread. So just flash the ROM file and the G apps file in the recovery and you are good to go. Now we'll check out different benchmark score for this ROM. Now I have tested 5 custom kernel with this ROM along with the stock kernel. So firstly, I will show you the stock kernel benchmark score then for 5 custom kernel. So this is the benchmark score for stock kernel. And these are the benchmark score for 5 custom kernel. So as you can see, elemental S kernel has highest benchmark score as compared to 4 other kernels. Now we will check out battery performance of this ROM with 5 custom kernel and stock kernel. Now all the custom kernels are used on the default setting. No tweaks are applied to any kernel. Also all these stats that I am going to show are taken after minimum 4 charge cycle. So these are my conditions and usage scenario while testing the battery for each kernel. So these are the battery stats for stock kernel. And these are the battery stats for 5 custom kernel. Now all the kernels work perfectly with this ROM. So as you can see the health score kernel has highest screen on time as compared to other 4 kernels. It's about 4 hour and 7 minute. So my top 3 kernel differences for minimal OS are First one is health score kernel The second one is stock kernel that come along with this ROM And the third one is blue spark kernel Now in terms of gaming, the ROM is beast I have played some heavy games like Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5 and they run very smoothly. There are no glitches while playing the game. Also in terms of multitasking, the ROM is pretty good. The app switching speed is pretty fast. You will not notice any lag while switching between the apps. Now we will check out different customization options available on this ROM. So as you can see there is a separate tab called minimal tweaks in settings menu for customization option. So here the first option is status bar. Here you can enable the ticker for your notification. Then you can enable brightness control over status bar. Then you can enable count for your notification. Then there is the option to enable double tap to sleep feature. Then you can customize different clock and date style in this option. And you can also customize the battery status style as per your choice. Then next option is notification drawer. Here you can enable the quick pull down from right edge or left edge of status bar. Then you can enable the weather in the quick setting panel. Then you can customize the order of a tile from this option. You can also add or remove any tile as per a choice. Then there are some different options available for customization of quick setting panel. Then next option is heads up notification. Here you can enable the swipe behavior for the heads up notification. 
then you can customize the timeout for the notification you can also add any specific app in a dnd mode or in a blacklist mode then next option is expanded desktop you can enable this option for all of your apps or for a specific app as per your choice then next option is sound here you can disable the camera shutter sound and the safe headset volume action then the next option is buttons here you can customize the layout for the navigation bar button then you can customize the different navigation ring targets you can also customize the dimension for the navigation bar then you can also apply different tint for your navigation bar button then there is an option to enable the arrow keys in navigation bar while typing also you can enable the double tap to sleep feature over the navigation bar then there is an option to customize the power menu you can choose different toggles from this list then you can customize different action for your volume button such as wake up your device using volume buttons and some other option are given here then next option is overview here you can customize the different option for the recent panel you can enable the clear all button you can also customize the position for the button as per your choice then you can enable or disable the search bar in the recent menu and the last option is c lock settings you can customize the c lock settings as per your choice also you can find the privacy option in the settings menu here you can enable the privacy guard for your app and you can also enable the block color list so as the minimal os includes layers commit so you can apply different layers theme using the layers manager and customize your ui as per your choice there are different layers theme available on play store you can get one of them and apply it very easily so it's time for final verdict about this rom as the name suggests the minimal os rom comes with very less bloatware so it's good to get rid of that annoying system apps also in terms of performance the rom is excellent in gaming in multitasking the rom excels in the battery department i have got excellent results also all the kernels work perfectly with this rom and this rom also includes layers commit so you can apply different layers for customization of the ui so if you want to have a rom with a great battery life super fast and fluid performance and less bloatware then you must go for the minimal os rom it is one of my favorite rom till now it performs very well in day to day usage let me know your experience about minimal os rom in the comments below and if you like this video please hit like button below and share this video you can follow me on my blog and google plus account for regular updates and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.